You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, September 18th, 2018. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we have been talking about evangelization. Yesterday, we talked about how we are called to evangelize because we know that our faith is the true faith, and we should be just dying to share that with anyone we love. Also, we learned that love is a key component of evangelization. It's not about winning an argument or proving that our faith is better is about truly sharing the truth with others because we love them. Now today we're going to talk about the first way that we can evangelize, and that is through actions. Now when we think about evangelization, we might think about standing up at a pulpit and preaching and sharing Bible verses and engaging in arguments, but in a lot of ways that is the least effective way to share the faith. It is much more effective to simply show yourself as a believer and show the world what that means to practice the faith and to love Jesus. So here are some ideas of simple ways that you can evangelize to those around you simply by living your life of faith out loud. On the weekends, when you're at a sport tournament, you can insist upon going to Mass. Now, oftentimes I know that games are scheduled over the time when you would have normally gone to Mass or would have been really hard to find a church to go to, but if you make it known that you do not miss Mass and make sure that you go to Mass, even if it means being a little late for a game or missing a practice session, That will speak volumes to your coach and your teammates about what is most important to you. The next way that you can evangelize through your actions is to watch what you say. Now, of course, we all know what it means to be a hypocrite. A hypocrite is someone who claims to be one way, but through their life and actions, we can see that they really aren't. For example, if we claim to be a good Christian, but then use all sorts of curse words or say mean and nasty things about people, well, then we're being a hypocrite because we're not really acting like we love each other and see Jesus Christ in that person. So a way to evangelize is to simply use good language and to make sure that the things we say are always kind about people. When others engage in teasing or making fun of a person, we can refuse to do it or even say something kind about them. The final way that we can evangelize our faith is by what we wear. First of all, we can wear modest clothing that don't display our body in a rude way, but we can also wear what we call a sacramental. A sacramental is an object with holy meaning and sometimes can serve as a protector for us just by wearing it. Two examples of sacramentals are a crucifix or a miraculous medal. Now, a crucifix we could easily wear on a necklace. It, of course, shows the cross with the crucified Christ on it. These can easily be blessed by a priest, and wearing them can offer us some special protection. A miraculous medal is a special medal that Mary appeared to a French nun and told her to have made. It, too, can be blessed by a priest and worn on a necklace and also has many miracles of protection attributed to it as well. And so, Sprouts, here is my challenge for you today. I challenge you to try to evangelize through your actions by doing one simple thing. I challenge you to find and wear a crucifix or a miraculous medal.
You can wear it on a necklace, on a bracelet. You can wear it under your clothes or over your clothes. But simply wearing a crucifix or a miraculous medal can be a powerful protector and a powerful message to the world of where your love and priority lie. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. Just one more thing, Sprouts. If you would like to continue to learn about your amazing Catholic faith at home or in school, I encourage you to download and use a set of free Catholic coloring pages. There's one for each letter of the alphabet, and you'll find them at do small things with love forward slash coloring.